What's up boys, Shane here, and today I'm excited to bring you guys a Battlefield Hardline video. I missed it by about a week, but it's actually the 4th anniversary of Battlefield Hardline, March 15th, 2015, until now, March 2019. I was actually in Fort Worth for the Call of Duty tournament uh, when the anniversary happened, so I sort of missed like, people going back and playing it, but since I've gotten home, I decided to go back and play it on my own. And it was pretty fun. It took me a while to get sort of used to my sensitivity on it. Um, sort of just the pace of the game, the positioning, the time to kill, and all that stuff. But uh, once I did, I got some pretty nice clips, and I had a pretty good game on Downtown Heist. Um, I actually played the Cops and the Robbers, so these are like two, two different games that I got these clips from. And I had played some Dust Bowl Conquest before, then I played some Dust Bowl Heist after. But there was, an, a, there was a chopper a pilot on the other team that just was making me rage quit. He was freaking insane. And he was just he was literally killing me every life. So I, I just ended up quitting off. So it wasn't the best ending, but I still had some fun on the game. I used the MDC, the M416. Uh, um, I have trigger softs on my new controller. So the uh, G17, I actually have gotten kind of good with it too. Uh, the only thing I didn't do too much of was sniping, but I played some hot wire uh, just for fun, and I got a few snipes here or there, but it wasn't anything really too special. I just was hyped to go back and play some Hardline. Um, it was the game that started this channel, and it's definitely one of my favorite games ever. Um, I really don't have the same passion for Battlefield that I once did. Um, however, the Firestorm update, which comes out in a few days, and then I saw something uh, that Jack Braggs was talking about where he's talking about Battlefield 5 sort of just being like the ultimate Battlefield game where they support it for like four or five years, and they just have the Pacific Theater, the Eastern Front, they have like every theater of war from World War II, and they throw it all into the game. And then in four or five years, similar to BF4, it'll be a game with like 30 maps, ton of different factions, different theaters of war. And it'll really be an awesome game, because right now, I do like the gunplay, but it's just kind of stale. Uh, but I do think if they really market these uh, updates, it could improve the game, definitely. Uh, the only issue is is that for people that crave like the modern setting of Battlefield, sort of classic Battlefield, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, uh, Bad Company 2, there isn't really going to be anything for them uh, for another like 4 or 5 years if Jack, if what Jack Braggs is saying is true. Um, so personally, for me, I really hope they don't do that. I hope they just support it for like two years. Um, they get some Pacific Theater in there. Um, they support Firestorm a little bit, uh, even though I would prefer it to be free to play. Um, and then they sort of just move on to the next game, which is hopefully like Battlefield 6, Battlefield... Uh, I don't even... They could call it Battlefield 5 again, maybe, and have it be a re uh, true sequel to Battlefield 4, uh, Battlefield Back Company 3. Um, Battlefield 2143, there's so many different directions they could go in. Um, I really think it would be a shame to have to wait like four years for another Battlefield game. Um, however, if they do, I would respect the decision. And I'm definitely going to be trying out Firestorm when it comes out and posting some videos on this channel. Uh, so I'm going to stay tuned for that. Um, someone in the, my Discord, Kaiser, I believe, um, said that a really interesting idea for Firestorm would be is if they allowed people to... Um, play with their friends uh, like in Battlefield 1 they did that premium thing where if your friends had premium and you played with them you could play in the premium maps they could do that with Firestorm and I think it would allow a lot more people to try it because most people know at least one friend that has Battlefield 5 and I think that would allow them to pull in a much bigger audience to that game because I definitely know my friends would try it out if they could play with me um, but I don't think they're just going to buy it outright otherwise so I think that'd be a cool idea to let a lot more people get their eyes on Firestorm. Um, and I definitely hope they allow some streamers to play it or at least even pay them to play it because um, it would get it out there. Uh, tell me you guys think, I know I didn't talk too much about Hardline, but over the last four years, I've talked to Crapton about this game. Um, it's one of my favorite games, and there is a lot that I miss about it, especially the vehicular gameplay, the uh, modern gunplay, um, and just sort of the little things like being able to um, take health and ammo from your teammates, um, how cool the cars are, just the sniping, how you can get one-shot kills to the body out to a pretty decent range. There's just a lot of things that I miss about this game, but uh, all been said in previous videos, so I'm not going to go too in-depth. Just sort of want to give you guys an update on the Battlefield franchise in general. Uh, talk about what's been going on with me. Uh, but again, boys, don't forget to drop a like down below. Hope you enjoyed the Hardline gameplay. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.